the health department is warning people about the West Nile virus, saying the state is experiencing a record high season. Four people have already died from West Nile in the uh, county, in Maricopa County. Fox 10's Jennifer Martinez talked to the family of a man who died recently. She joins us live. Well, the family of Donald Streets, they tell me that they believe he was bit by a mosquito while he was enjoying a night out on his patio. Now they want to warn others about the dangers. Nausea, off balance, lightheaded and trouble breathing. Those were the first symptoms 86 year old Donald Streets experienced. When he headed to the hospital, they sent him home, telling him he was dehydrated. His son, Ramin Street, says the symptoms just got progressively worse for the next two weeks before doctors realized he had West Nile virus. Um, but he declined, declined, declined over the two weeks. It literally was his breathing was getting worse. They were having trouble keeping up with just his oxygen levels. He was having to transfer over to like the BPAP machine where the full head mask is on, just shoving oxygen into your lungs, trying to keep you going. Donald passed away on September 16th. The Maricopa County Health Department is calling the West Nile virus threat significant this year. All the rain we received during monsoon providing a breeding ground for mosquitoes. The health department reports 123 cases of West Nile statewide. 104 of those cases are in Maricopa County. All four deaths in the state are also in Maricopa County. Officials say the virus is being detected in a record number of mosquitoes tested. 612 mosquito samples were positive with West Nile virus compared to just 10 last year. Say stay indoors, just don't go outside. Wait till it cools off, wait till it dries up. Uh, it's just two months is not worth your life going out into your backyard or just going out to dinner or stuff like that. Play it safe. And health officials say that about one in five people who get infected with the virus will experience symptoms. So some ways to protect yourself, they say, make sure you're wearing a bug spray. If you head outside, wear long sleeve pants and a long sleeve shirt. And of course, get rid of any standing water in your backyard. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.